Hello and welcome back to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a mum of three from the UK and this channel is all about home education, it's about motherhood, parenthood, um, it's about parenting, specifically parenting autistic children because I have two of those beautiful people and we're also starting to delve into a journey towards semblance of organisation and minimalism and we are documenting that on this channel too. So today I wanted to one apologise for dropping you again, dropping the dropping the YouTube ball um, in the last couple of days, Friday to Monday. Just it's been crazy, and um, then yesterday I was at the hairdressers, and then I had days of tidying to do and stuff, so I just didn't get the videos done. So I'm going to start today is going to be my Monday video, and then I will do the Wednesday video tomorrow, and then we'll be hopefully back on track for Friday, and then uh, and so on. So and then I'll get it filmed over the weekend. So today, um, this is our video has been asked for a lot. Um, as it says on the title, it's a power maths book flick through. Now I've got um, so I've got year three, sorry year two, year one, year two, and year three books here. And we're just going to have a quick flick through. Um, <laughs> just drop things. We're going to have a quick flick through a couple of the books. Um, I've got. Um, I've got a, just an example of each of them so you can kind of see their layout see their formats and that sort of thing so you can maybe make some an informed choice about whether you want to use them for yourself so I'm going to tilt you down and we'll look through the year one book and I'll give you some thoughts um as we're looking through them okie dokie so here is the power math year one practice book and this is 1b so you when you are doing power maths as a curriculum you will need to get um, books 1a 1b and 1c and you can also get the textbooks that go with them um, i do have an example of a year two textbook here um the textbooks are about five six pounds and the books are about three pounds they're not hugely expensive um, and there's these characters running all the way through you can see on the back there's Astrid, Flo, Dexter, Sparks and Ash um, they are throughout the whole um, the whole series they're consistent which is really cool um, so it's kind of interactive here it asks you to draw something and you can see here that I've highlighted them we try we were when we were using power maths we were using doing three or four lessons a week so I would highlight them and I would then I'd know which ones I was doing also working out how long it would roughly take us to complete so oh, looking oh my goodness I'm so sorry looking through here and um, this is obviously the middle book this is the B book of year one can you see that properly there you go um we're starting you can see the the chapter headings here you've got addition within 20 and then the page so this one says you know adding add by counting on um, it's not colourful but I did find that my kids found the format very easy to use and there's a consistent one two three pages throughout the book so um, you always know that they've got three pages to do I think that finds it easier like if you're only doing one page a day or something like that then you know it's going to take you three days to do a lesson um, but that works you know that works fine you have Again, the same format, so you have the main questions, which are pages one and two, and then on page three you have a challenge and you have a reflect. So um, I try to get the, ref when the kids do the reflect or the challenge, I will try um, and get them to do it independently, just with me maybe reading it if they're of that age where they need some help. Um, and then I use that in my head as kind of like a, how well have they understood the lesson? Are they able to complete this by themselves? Do we need to um, go back on it more? So you do have some pictures and things here. You've got like butterflies and snails and stuff like that. Um, it, I don't feel like it moves very quickly. I actually feel like it moves quite slowly. So if your child um, isn't a, right, I've learned that now, I'll see you later. Like it's gonna need, maybe a struggling with maths. Um, you need to go back a couple of years to um, an earlier time before their chronological age like these books are very good um, they're a mixture of word and number problems so if your child is a is still learning to read or struggles to struggles to read uh, you may need to you this the, if they're struggling to read you will need to sit with them and do it um, or if they haven't learned to read yet you will need to sit with them and do it because there's a lot of words in the questions um it's one of the things excuse me one of the things that we found with Charles and Bessie was that once Charles was reading, I could give him these books and he could pretty much do them independently. 
but Bessie couldn't. She's still learning and it was just too many words for her to manage. So, and Bessie would be in year three now, um, but she does, we do, we are querying that she may be dyslexic as I've said before. So if your child um, struggles in that area, like these might, they might still be the books for you, but you might need to have more input, um, more input on them. So um, these are all really good as well, you get these end of unit checks, so at the end of each chapter you then get like a little assessment and it says my journal, so it's just to help them to see if they've understood it, let me move it over, see better, there you go. Um, if they've understood the chapter properly and there's always a little game as well at the end of this power play, um, you know, on topic but a little bit of fun which is always good. Um, yeah so it does that and then it also has a my powerpoint so it says i can do this just to kind of um so to color the stars and to color the, color the stars if you've done them and color the happy the smiley face if you feel like you know what what you were doing so that's the year one book so we'll just have a look at year two and i've got the textbook here to show you as well try not to drop on the floor okay so we've got 2c here as you can see so this is the year two book and as you can see the same characters again going through um so well the textbook is very colorful um and it does have extra um extra activities in it and when we first started doing this we would go through all of this and he would write it in a math book and then we would go on to that and he was exhausted by the time we got onto this one he hated it um and to be honest if when these work for school like this is the book that you would have as your homework book you know so you would do this lesson in class and then you would do this lesson as your homework book but that doesn't work for home ed so my suggestion would be that you pick one or the other um or do this do lesson one of this book on say a Monday and then you do this lesson one of this book on Tuesday so you spread it out um because otherwise it's just I found for my children it was just too much so again same contents page very bright and engaging um and then it starts explaining the topic so for example you've got position and direction here and it introduces the unit has some keywords that sort of thing um and these are mainly t talkable topics so for example follow the instructions on the screen to complete the dance describe the movements in the dance so it's things that they're not actually asking them to write in this one they're just asking them to do it and then they've got um doing it together they so think together the idea is it's aimed at school children obviously um they might do this in pair work and then you have a challenge and then it moves on so um we just found that it was too much to do um in one day for us we just wanted to be able to get on and do other things especially if we were um we weren't struggling if charles wasn't struggling with it so you've got problem solving it is very colorful and engaging but again it's very wordy so if your child does not does not find reading easy you may need to do a lot of reading for them or it might not be the program for you um, it's one of the reasons why we've actually moved on to something else as I showed you in the video a little while ago with my make your own rules video I will link it up here um, we've actually moved on to something else so yeah it's very nice it's a very nice colourful book and then just to show you the practice book is very similar to the year one you can see they correspond with all the things on there you've um, problem solving you've got money Ooh temperature mass all sorts of things there and um oh someone i'm being interrupted one moment anywho as i was saying um the format is very similar again you've got two pages of questions and then a challenge and a reflect with a end of unit check at the end of each one what we have been doing with the books that I showed you uh, with these ones we've been making a note of what they've been struggling with and then we're going to go we are going to use these but we're just going to then work through the once they finish those books we're just going to work through these the actual areas they need help with that they need more um, instruction with rather than um, doing all of the stuff repetitively that they um, they don't need because they've already got it <laughs> so yeah 
those are the year two books and then finally i'll show you the year three i don't have anything higher than year three at the moment because um that's like the furthest one we're getting on to so this one says imagine you had a thousand pounds what would you buy draw it Ooh, i don't know so as you can see year three bumps up a bit there is a lot more a lot more words, a lot more sums. It's the, the level going into junior school age has is bumping up the you know, smaller writing and more words. And but again, you only still you still only have two pages, but there's a lot more words and there's a lot more stuff. Um, this is book B, so uh, again the middle book. But you're really jumping up from year two to year three. So again, you know, again it follows the form. You've got in this particular book you have multiplication and division, money, statistics, length and fractions. Um, I'll just flick through, as I said, very wordy and um, like tables and stuff. So much words. If your child is on this level maths but still not a great reader, you will need to put more input in. I mean, look at this. Look at this. This is the end of unit check. You've got all of this. And then you've got the power puzzle, you've got all of this before moving on to the next chapter. You know, that is a lot um, to handle. And now having a good flick through these, I think that um, I will probably do a page a day with Charles on these when he's on this level, because I think he will need, um, I need a rest. I think it's going to be a bit overwhelming for him at first. Um, slowly build it up to two pages and see if he can manage three at a later date. But yeah, so very wordy. And the children are calling me again, despite the fact that they are all supposed to be on screens. One moment. Oh, I swear if one poor person asks me a question about Roblox, I might cry. Don't you dare leave one in the comments. <laughs> um, yeah, so as you can see, it's very wordy. And um, obviously it jumps up a bit, but I feel like it jumps up a lot. Um, I don't have book A right now to go and have a look at that and show it to you. But again, you get the same PowerPoints at the back as well. Um, hopefully you'll be able to see this on a bigger screen because I'm looking at it on the camera screen seeing, trying to see what you're going to be able to see and it's really small. So, um, yeah. So hopefully that was useful, that that is something that you can now make a more informed decision about whether you would want to buy Power Maths. Um, I'm not affiliated with Pearson or Power Maths in any way. I just really like using their products. Um, the, uh, you know, it's one of the, one of the many that we've used and um, we'll continue to purchase just because they're very good. They don't do home ed discounts, but to be honest, they're so cheap. Um, that it's really it's really not a huge deal um, to get them for me so um yeah i will see you tomorrow when i will put out our organization organization planning video you will get three videos in a row this week uh, while i catch up and i will get filming probably the next two weeks worth of stuff at the weekend so it can all be done in advance and um, oh i've got something on my glasses oh it's hay feeding the horses earlier um so yes hopefully i will not be um not be so slacking over the next few weeks uh and uh we can on friday i'm gonna do a little bit of a vlog and just kind of update you with what's what's been going on at home and in our lives and and have a bit of um yeah have a bit of family time do a bit of the kids and i'm probably gonna do a craft and um yeah we've got some um I do have something really cool to share with you as well, a very cool toy product that I'm going to probably slip in next week as well. So, uh, Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I literally do a happy dance every single time I get a new subscriber. And uh, I will see you tomorrow with a video about organisation and planning. Bye.